to another episode of Pop Reviews. Today I will be talking about the Jonathan Taves and Patrick Kane pops from the first wave of the NHL line. First up is Patrick Kane. Kane is the all-star right wing forward for the Chicago Blackhawks. Kane is a three-time Stanley Cup champion, silver medalist in the 2010 Winter Olympics, six-time all-star, recipient of the Conn Smythe in 2013, and the Hart Memorial Trophy, Ted Lindsay Award, and is the first American born recipient of the Art Ross Trophy, all of which were awarded to him after the 2015-2016 season. In terms of the pop itself, I have to say I'm very pleased with it. The details are very accurate to how Kane looks in real life to pop form. Patrick Kane normally has slicked back hair, which they nailed in this pop. In terms of the uniform, it's very easy to tell that the logos, name, and numbers are not hand painted on, but instead they are printed on, which makes a lot of sense due to the high level of detail in the Blackhawks logo, as well as most hockey logos in general. The gloves have the right indentations of the padding inside of the glove. Skates have good detail, especially with the laces, because some pops in the past don't have clear laces, but the laces on the skates stand out. Also, Kane is left-handed, which is clearly displayed in this pop. The only thing I would have liked to see in this pop, as well as other NHL pops, is distinct tape at the end of the blade, but that's a very minor issue for me because there are players that don't use tape at all. For the overall accuracy with this pop, I'm going to give this a 5 out of 5. As far as the presentation goes, I'm happy with it. Like I said, the pose is accurate because Kane is left-handed, but I also like the pose because it looks like Kane is actually doing something instead of just standing there. I'm also very pleased that the players are holding sticks instead of being empty-handed, but in addition to that, I love that a hockey puck is included not only to this pop, but also with most of the other NHL pops. The only pops that don't have a hockey puck included are the pops of the goalies. So overall for the presentation score, I'm going to give this a 4.5 out of 5. And the only reason for that is because every NHL pop, excluding goal goalies, are in the same pose. The only change is dependent on whether the player is right or left handed. As far as the box goes, it's a very simple design, but it works. It has the team logo and or name on the top of the box which in this case it just says Chicago Blackhawks, which is totally fine with me. My favorite thing about these boxes though is that on the bottom of the box by the player's name, it uses the primary team color for that part of the box, which I think makes the box look a little nicer. However, what does upset me is that my box came with a bit of a dent on it. Thank you GameStop. It's on the back of the box, so I hardly ever see it, but I know it's there and it upsets me. Also, all of the NHL pops feature the big silver NHL sticker on the front of the box. Personally, I think the sticker is way too big, but it is placed off to the side and it's not covering anything major, so it's not a super big deal for me. Overall, I'm going to give the box score a 4 out of 5 due to the fact that my box was damaged and the sticker is a bit too big. With all of these scores tallied up, it gives the Patrick Kane pop an overall score of 4.5 out of 5. Next up is the Jonathan Taves pop. Taves is the center forward for the Blackhawks and has been serving as the team's captain since 2008. Taves is a three-time Stanley Cup champion, five-time All-Star, gold medalist in the 2010 and 2014 Winter Olympics, recipient of the Conn Smythe in 2010, and a recipient of the Frank J. Selke Trophy in 2013. Let's begin with the accuracy of the pop. Once again, I think Funko nailed it from head to toe with the Taves pop. The hair has sort of a wavy look to it, which is pretty close to what Taves' hair looks like in real life. The detail on the uniform looks good as well, still printed on instead of being painted on. I'm also very happy that the captain logo is on the jersey, which is marked with a capital C, and I'll talk more about that later. The gloves look good as well, using a all-black color scheme, which Taves and Kane use, although it is worth noting that both Taves and Kane have been seen using gloves that have a black and white color scheme and also a black and red color scheme instead. It's not a big deal, but it would have been nice to see a little variation between the two pops. Also, Taves is left-handed as well, so they got that right as far as the pose goes. As far as the accuracy goes, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5 just like with the Kane pop. In concern to the presentation of the pop, I can't really say anything different from the Kane pop because it's the exact same thing, except that it's Jonathan Taves instead. I would like to suggest ways that could make the presentation better. I wouldn't mind seeing helmets on the players, but doing them like the first wave of NFL pops where the helmet could be removed if desired. However, NHL helmets aren't really that interesting in general, so I can understand Funko's reason to forego the helmet. 
For goalies, though, I definitely think they should include the masks because there are some awesome masks in the NHL right now. Corey Crawford, Jonathan Quick, Ben Bishop, Pecorine, and Carey Price are just a few goalies that have amazing masks. I also would like to see different poses for the players. Forwards could have a pose where they're taking a slap shot, defenders can have a pose where they're about to hit someone, and goalies can have poses where they're making incredible saves. They can even have players holding the Stanley Cup or individual awards that they have recently won. There are just so many opportunities that go along with hockey and Funko needs to use them. I'm not going to change the score in terms of presentation of the pop, however. I'll just leave it as a 4.5 out of 5. Now to talk about the box. The Taze box is really no different than the Kane box, same color scheme, design, it's just a different artwork in terms of the pop inside. I am happy to say however that this box came to me undamaged. However, I do have a bone to pick with this box, and that's in regards to the lack of the Captain logo on the artwork for Taze. It's completely missing it, but the pop itself has the C on it. Now normally I don't mind when the box is missing a detail or two that the pop has or vice versa. However, every other player that has a Captain logo on their jersey has it on the box as well. Sidney's Crosby pop has his captain logo on the jersey and on the artwork of the box. Now to take it a step further. In every glam shot for Taves, not only is the box missing the C, but also the pop is missing a C. And the weird thing is, is that my pop clearly has the C on it. I don't know if this is an error on Funko's part or miscommunication, or maybe my pop is the only Jonathan Taves pop that has the C logo on it. Now I highly doubt that, but I think we can all agree that that would be pretty cool. Because of the lack of a C logo on the box, and also with the glam shots not showing it on there as well, I'm going to give this a 3.5 out of 5. With the scores tallied up, this gives the Jonathan Taves pop an overall score of 4.3 out of 5. Overall, I'm very pleased with these pops despite the minor flaws, and I am really looking forward to Wave 2 and hopefully more future NHL pops.